Well, today we're going to be replacing the water pump on a front load LG washing machine. We're going to start off opening up the bottom down here. Pull out the hose, drain the water, clean out the, the filter, and then we're going to get started on opening it up and getting working on the pump. Well, I suspect it's going to fill this container up two or three times. We'll get it all emptied and then we'll check the filter. Well, we have the water all drained out. Let's check the filter. A little bit dirty. We'll give that a clean out. Rinse it off, put her back in, and we get started on the rest of the pump replacement. All washed up and cleaned. We'll get that back in there. Move on to the next step. Well, this is the pump we're putting in. This is the part number here. Price isn't too bad. It's only about 36, 36 to $40 Canadian. Well, we're going to start by taking the top off. We'll undo these two screws, both sides. And the top comes right off. Just lift straight up, unclips, take it off. This is the inside of your washing machine. We'll get our hoses disconnected and out of the way also. Well, now you can see we got the hoses and power disconnected tipped over on its front. We can see our pump is right in there. So we're going to start taking this hose off, disconnecting what we need to. Hopefully it goes real well. When we take a look inside here, we got a screw, a screw to take off there, a little bolt, one here, and one way down in the back side over here, <clears throat> you'll have to take that one off with blind. So take a little bit of time, take your time. You'll get her done. Well, let's take a look at this. This might be part of our problem while we're not pumping and working very well. Uh-huh. That's not gonna help. Get that out of there. Hopefully the whole system works much better when we're done. Here we go, we got it out. Undid the clamp on this. That came off a of right there. Now we're just gonna have to disconnect the wires, take the pump off, install the new one. Well, make sure you put the black back where it was and this orange one in the right locations when you reconnect the new pump. Don't forget. Well, we got the pump out. This is it here. To get the pump out, we had to re 
loosen a couple of these screws on this base. It came loose enough so that it popped out. It wasn't coming out of this gap, this uh, space in here. Now we got it cleaned up. We're gonna clean this up all the way around here. Reinstalled a new one. We're reinstalling it now. Take note of the rotation of where we took it off. That notch has to line up there and you can see that hole was used. That lines up with that. Take a look at our previous picture before we took it apart. That's exactly what we need right there. Well, there we go. We got the pump all on, covers all on. We're just gonna put everything back the way it was. Put the wires on the right location as our picture before. Take your time. Make sure we tighten those screws up. Put that hose back on. We'll give you a little picture of what it looks like after we get all the bolts back in place. Well, we got it all back together. A little difficult to put this one on over here. Took a bit of time. We got the green hose connected. Power connected. All we got to do is stand it up right and start putting our covers back on. Well, another successful job completed. Now we just got to put the top on. Got all the hoses connected. We just got to put the power on. And then we'll do a trial run. Hope you liked it. Hopefully it helps solve your problem. Get your pump fixed up and running so you can get your laundry done. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next project.